guys. If you can see, I have in some extensions today. Um, this hair is from Mercy Hair Extensions, and this is a 22 inch, 200 gram Mongolian clip ins. So, yeah, it looks kind of like I got a sew in, I got a little bit of weave out or whatever, but it's actually clip ins. And I love these clip ins because I'm able to make them blend with my hair. I'm able to work with them very well. My hair is black, it's like a natural soft black. I dye it that way, and I dyed the clip ins in order to um, achieve the same color, and there was no shedding at all. I dyed it, I washed it, I conditioned it, and there was no shedding like whatsoever. I can run my fingers through it right now and there's absolutely nothing there. So this is some really great hair. Let me know in the comments below um, if you guys like this hair and I will leave uh, the link to the website below as well as the type of hair that I got. So yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look, please keep watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. So you're gonna start by just having your hair into some French braids. I have about six or seven. The size doesn't really matter because you're just going to put the clip-ins over the braids, but what's important is that the braids are flat onto your head, and then I also have two braids in the front that's just going to be the hair that I'm leading out. Also, the parts don't really matter because um, you're going to cover them anyway, so it doesn't matter if your hair is straight or not, but right now you just see me body pinning these braids to my head just so I have a nice flat surface to clip the clip-ins to. Um, so yeah, that's what you're going to see me doing, and this makes it a lot easier to wear your clip-ins. You know, you don't have to worry about having all of your hair blend with it, or if your hair, you know, may get tangled with the clip-ins. So, putting a majority of your hair under the clip-ins uh, securely is definitely going to help make this style last a lot longer. bobby pins you're gonna need so just be prepared for that and this is what it looks like when it's all done and I can go ahead and start adding the clip-ins now Mercy's hair extensions already come sized to fit your head so there's different pieces of tracks with either one clip-in two clips three clips and four clips so I'm at the bottom I'm starting with the three clips since that's you know a smaller part of my hair but I'm not gonna put you know one clip at the bottom so I want it to space out across the braid so right now I'm just attaching the three clips to the bottom and as I work my way up I'm gonna you know keep putting the, the three clips at the bottom and then when I get higher I'm gonna start using the four clips. Take your time when you're applying the clip-ins just to make sure that it's nice and secured onto the braid you know so you don't have to worry about them falling out or anything so I really take my time and work it into the braid and fasten it that way and as you see it's starting to look very full and I'm going to keep adding the different clips. Basically we'll just size it out depending on your head size and what works best for you but what works best for me is just really making sure that I cover you know all the way across my head so if that means using two of the three clips side by side you know to basically have six clips then I'll do that but for the most part these definitely cover all around my head and I have a really big head so this would definitely work for somebody with a normal to smaller size head that I wanted to leave out in these two braids just so I have the braid out effect and my hair will better blend with the extensions and right now I'm just going to undo the braids and then I'm going to try and blend it to the best of my ability So now I'm just going to pull some of my hair over to cover the tracks 
Nobody wants their tracks showing, it's not cute. So make sure that you have enough leave out so you're able to cover the back as well as have you know some bangs in the front. Now I'm going to use the two clips in order to make my bangs you know have the same length as the rest of the extensions. So I'm gonna put that under my bangs and this hair blends very well with my hair. So you know you can't even really tell that the extensions are there. And in order to make it blend better, I'm just gonna keep adding more clips. This one is just the one clip, and I'm gonna put that more towards the top, so it kind of weighs down um, my actual hair that's underneath, and it makes it blend very well. So the higher up that you go with the one to two clips, the more natural it'll look in your bangs, and I feel like your bangs really set the tone for the rest of your hair, so spending time and making sure that you have one to two clips up there is really important to make sure that it looks very natural. going to use the cream of nature's perfect edges and I'm just going to smooth this onto my edges and brush it down I feel like if you want your edges to be on fleek you have to use some type of product in order to achieve that look so I love using the cream of nature because it just smooths down perfectly and it doesn't look clumpy or flaky at all so I just brush it and then I'm just going to you know kind of move my hair over a little bit but this is what my hair looks like when I install all of the extensions. I'm in love with this look. Like, I love it so much. And you can't even tell that I'm wearing extensions. So that's what I would go for if I'm trying to, you know, look more dressy. Because it was my birthday, so I wanted to try something different. Let me know below if y'all have any questions, and I will be sure to answer them. And I'll leave all the information to the terror in their website below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!